California, 20.4% of COVID tests are coming back positive these days. Cases in Sacramento County are exploding as well, hitting an all-time high this week. The case rate per 100,000 is now 80 people. A week ago, that number was only 26. County health leaders say that they're seeing 1,200 new cases a day. This is the biggest wave that we've seen since the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and so far, we've not seen a huge increase in deaths. We're hoping um, it stays that way. 267 patients are in the Sacramento County Hospitals uh, as of last night, I should say. That number is up from 189 a week ago. The nation's third largest school district canceled classes today because of teachers' concerns over the latest COVID surge. An average of about half a million Americans have tested positive every day over the past week. A CDC panel meets this afternoon to consider booster shots for 12 to 15 year olds. Yesterday, the agency tried to clear up confusion over its latest recommendation for ending COVID isolation. CBS 13's Bradley Blackburn reports from New York. The CDC is warning hospital admissions and deaths will likely increase in the coming weeks as the record breaking COVID surge continues. New hospital admissions in Miami Dade, Florida are up 550% in just two weeks. As the hospitals get strained, there is less opportunity to to provide uh, all these resources to the one single patient. Because of the surge, Chicago's public school teachers voted to switch to remote learning, prompting officials to cancel classes. Going into schools puts us at risk, um, puts our students and families at risk. The CDC tried to clarify its guidance for people who test positive but are asymptomatic or mildly ill. The agency stopped short of requiring those people to get a negative test before ending isolation after five days. But it said if someone has, quote, access to a test and wants a test, they should use it. And those who test positive should isolate for another five days. It is confusing. Uh, it does feel like a bit of a choose your own adventure. If this, then this. It all comes as the U.S. sees a shortage of rapid antigen tests nationwide. At this pharmacy in Denver, rapid tests are selling out on the same day the shipment comes in. We ended up selling through 600 within the business day. The federal government is launching a website for Americans to order free tests, but it won't be up and running until later this month.